mas gugustuhin mo yung masecure mo na agad yung early pa lang. Mm -hmm. Kasi ang hirap nga kapag umabot pa ng uh, late game, yung ultra late game na tinatawag nga natin, yes. si Doc Ribo on his sling, especially with his uh, bounty hunter, kaya niyang i-excel, kaya niyang makipag-counter kay Daniel on his carry. Right. Meanwhile, let's have a quick recap of the player lineup for the side of Happy Feet Emperors. We have Aaron on the Lunox, Vern on the Grok, Rene J on the Cho, Doggy on the Valir, and Daniel on the carry. And on the blue side, we have Bren E. Pro, Rafflesia playing the Baksha, who's again on the Franco, Doc Rebo playing the Ling. Oh, hold that thought though. May napakang gandang skirmish yes, dito. Yes, fight ongoing right now. Napaplicker out talaga si JP first dito, pero nahago pa siya wow. ni Daniel going for that first. However, Renny Jane here showing up the members of Renny Pro going Whoa, all in the turret and grabbing naman yun. Defensive move, Daniel in here will fall down onto the hands of Doc Rebo. Pero babawi ang din naman ni Aaron on a 2 for 2 exchange tayo so far agad. <laughs> Bodies on the floor, ladies and gentlemen. Si Rafflesia yung mukha, hindi pa yata tapos. Renny Jane, again, with the back mark, hindi tatama. Hindi niya may isam yung kagad. Pero kaya niya pa rin makipagbakbakan dito by 1v1. But Renny Jane will decide to go back. But let's continue, Link. Side dito ng Bren and also Renzo para, para kay Thumbs and JP naman para sa Esmeralda. Nakita natin kung paano yung ginawa ng Happy Feet Emperors trying to take advantage their early na meron sila. Kasi nga, they got the Lunox so naagaw nila yung blue buff sa jungle ng Bren e Pro. Uh, them having itong ko Gold did a while ago, pero yeah. mabilis siyang nahabol ng Bren e Pro. Most probably, din nga sa ibang minions or monsters na nakuha na din sa jungle. And at the same time, yung crab na nakuha nila sa top. Turtle yeah. resurrected uh, soon. Pa nga, uh, magiging next objective. First objective of the match here for Game 3. Turtle already respawned, pero nag-aabangan. Wala pang level 4 ang mga pupuna ng dalawang miyembro dito. Bren e Pro and Happy Fit Emperors. Pero looking at... The core, he, uh, the core heroes of Ren E Pro here, they're already ready to fight against the small skirmishes na, na kayang iba to ng Happy Feet Emperor kasi level 4 na rin si JP. Almost quarter XP away for his level 5. Right. And totally makikita mo dito yung magbabakbakan or magkakakitaan talaga sa taas is the carry as well as the thumb. So may range advantage dyan si carry. And at the same time nga lang, hindi pa naman siya ganun ka online. Pero ang advantage ng carry doon, oh, pero teka lang sa Uy. tuloy, makikita natin dito close up ganyan. Nalagyan ng wall, hindi na makakatakas. At hindi rin available yung Thousand Pounder niya noon, right. nung pagkakataon na yun. And that's already a very good pick up here on the side of Happy Emperors. And I think it is already enough for them to capitalize and also take advantage of the situation to take down the turtle. At tingnan natin, Carry will be joining on to the team by Meanwhile, si Rafflesia on to the backline. Doggy, delikado yung position. Trying to back away. Na secure pa nga ng Happy Feet Emperors ang ating turtle. Rafflesia going so low, trying to steal a lot of damage. Aaron will get the kill. Si Doggy Okay, nagbabato lang na nagbabato ng mga flame shots dito sa may gilid. And also, using the flicker on its advantage, medyo pangit yung position dito. And also, on the bottom lane, Ling is still trying to uh, uh, get those items first. Medyo, tingin ko nagkaroon siya ng Raptor Machete dito. And I think that is already enough for Ling. Well, medyo nahihirapan din siya makaikot-ikot nga because the Cho, binabantayan siya dun. Mm -hmm. Uy, tignan natin, 2v1 situation. Papalagan nga ba ni Rene J? Rene J will just fall back. Sisipain lang naman din pala. Oo, pati yung medyo risky. Nandun din kasi si si Rafflesia. Well, for the stun and also for the disabled. But, well, I think this is a battle between mobility sa bottom lane. Kaya kailangan lang din talaga ni Ling ng unting backup. Kasi lamang talaga. Jeet Kundo with the Shunpo, medyo lamang talaga when it comes to mobility sa bottom lane. Ito na, pinapakita dito ng... Happy Feet Emperor. Sige ko, ayun yung ano, yung uh, Franco. Pero teka lang, on to the middle line, 2v2 situation right now. Doggy going so low, but will be able to back away. The hook won't connect. At dito sinasabi, probably naging confident dun yung Happy Feet Emperors. Kasi nga, okay, confident kami. Kami, 80% win rate ng, uh, or rather, ng hook rate, di ba? <laughs> Pero... Nako, bottom lane, Rene J, we have the dragon, saktong sakto. Nasaan yung damage? Doc Rebo trying to run away though, with the flicker in, Rene J3 still trying to chase her, please. And also the back of the Happy Feet Emperor, Aaron, with the Chaos Assault, will secure one kill sa side ng Happy Feet Emperor. And at the same time, a turret on the bottom lane, part of the map. Meanwhile, dito, Daniel free farming lamang sa top lane natin. I think Ren E Pro has to abuse that lane if they want to win itong fights natin. Kasi ang nangyayari, it seems like they're focusing on to the different lane. Kung saan pwede naman, bakit si Carrie na lang? Alam natin ba si Fishy at Metro nga? Team fight, or rather a 1v1 on going on to the top lane. Look at the damage coming from Daniel. Nice positioning. However, Doc Rebo is on a good position as well. Vernon 
kill. Medyo na late ng pasok. But then again, we'll secure a kill. One for one exchange. Pero hindi pa nga tapos dito si JP. Yung nakuha nakuwa pa si Doggy Aero. Medyo delikado. He's time to run away though. Chaos Assault. Nasaan yung Darkening niya? Oh my god. May may the life steal. Starlight falls. But he will still go down. Power for Buren. Or rather, Burn. Buren tuloy. Burn this time. But sabi dito ni Renji. Okay lang. Kuha na lang kami ng Tore dito sa gitna ng map. Oo. Kuha lang dito si Leto Ganon Tore. And also securing the turtle sa side ng Bren E Pro but Vern still trying to nako run po, away from po, this one. We'll try to run away. Nako, nakapag-dash out pa rin naman and that's actually a good thing. And at the same time, bottom lane makikita natin 2v1 situation right now. This is the third hook that did not connect. Getting suppressed in here. Nako, on the top lane, off cam kill. Carry will secure a kill. Going back, Renny J is still oh! trying to away. Look at that! Just but unfortunately won't survive until the last hit coming up from the Franco. Ang ganda ng pagbili niya ng oras dito. Baka magkaroon ng opening. But uh, again, the back siya using his shield unity. Able to run away. Puzaken. Mukhang naghahat ng magandang hook dito. And also, they might be able to get that steal. Not the right target though. But still enough for Havit Emperors to again equalize the net worth lead to side ng Happy Fit Emperors. I think this time Happy Fit Emperors is gaining confidence as they got a lead right now in terms of gold. And at the same time, a good position on taking down the tier 1 turret onto the top lane. Just They just have to wait for a little uh, bit of more waves in there. But I think hindi sila pwede maging overconfident pa. Indeed. Well, oh. siguro kasi ang laki pa rin talaga ng CC na kayang ibigay dito ng Esmeralda and also with the backup oh. at Happy Fit cool. Emperors. They are able to... That did not connect. Not, not connect at all, but again, ag another objective side the Happy Emperor is here opening the jungle area of Bren E Pro here in the top lane. At uh, Happy Emperor is mukhang naghahanap pa rin taga sila ng dugo, hindi pa rin tapos. Alam na nila na meron ang necklace of durance sa Aeron, so kayang kaya nilang kontrolin ang team fight ng Bren E Pro. Totally, and right after taking the tier 1 turret onto the top lane, look at the gold lead that Happy Feet Emperors right now. Kanina wow. 1k lang, ngayon ilan na, and that is actually a good Launch thing. Attack. Now Aeron, so as Vern, now they will just try to focus fire on JP right now. Look at the damage Whoa. from the side of Happy Feet Emperors, at ito nga tuloy pa rin nabakbakan. Replacing going for the back line. Oh, See, Bodito, medyo na ipit nga lang. Trying to back away. Baka ka survive ba onto the hands of Daniel? Oh, unfortunately. Oh, okay. oh, unfortunately not. Dahil kukuwain pa siya ni Aaron. <laughs> Nakaabang. Akala ko makakatakas sa dito. Oh, but man. unfortunately, ang ganda Nakaabang. ng pagkakatrap. Nakaabang agad si Aaron. And he will be the one who's to secure that kill. And also on top of that, Mayroon pa silang nakuwang turtle box sa side ng Happy Feet Emperors. Not just the turtle, but look at his tier 2 turret. Going so low onto the one lane part of the map. Still focus firing onto the turret is Rene J onto that show. Now I think this is the time that he has to back away. JP dashing Sumpo? in. Oh, nakapag-speaker pa oh, ba? Talagang flex ng ng flex ang Happy Feet Emperors dito. Objective into objective. Talagang maganda yung communication ng Happy Feet Emperors. And also Rene J on his show opening a lot or removing every outer turret of Bren E Pro right now. Oh, this is the sixth hook that did not connect on the side of Bren E Pro. We have yet to see Franco perform oh, on this back. fight right now because, you know, makikita natin yung comparison a while ago on the execution, on on the initiation pala ng uh, having this Franco all of this Rebo getting stunned in here. Delicado pa nga ako tinamaan pa siya noon. <laughs> Ang sakit na ni Doggy. This is a position for Valier, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Support. At support yeah. pa to. At nakikita mo pa rin yung damage niya. Right. Nagbabato na siya na nagbabato. And also giving a lot of space gamit ng kanyang searing torrent. Well, tignan natin later on kung ano na yung mga items ni Doggy dito. Kasi it's also important that he has a lot of survivability items in here. And in mm -hmm. fact, ayun na nga. Winter Truncheon, Winter Truncheon. of course. Mana Boots. For his, of course, uh, survivability. Oh, at mo ang kuwa payata siya dito ng Ice Queen One. At kapag nakuwa na niya yung Ice Queen One, ang laki na ng bagay na kaya niyang ibigay dito. Right. With that slow, ang laki yung factor nun. Since, again, uh, well, they are really mobile, but ano mangyayari sa front lines? Kay Franco, kay Baxia, kay Esmeralda lalo. So, again, it is a very big opening for Happy Feet Emperors to dish out a lot of damage. Then again, guys, kung sino man ang matalo sa laban na to, we'll say bye-bye on our playoffs already because we're ready on the third game of our best of three match dito sa lower bracket. Mm -hmm. At uh, Bren E. Pro, alam nila na, okay, sige, kampante lang tayo, hindi natin kailangan mag-overextend. Hayaan natin si Doc Ribo na gamitin yung kanyang uh, lightness para mag- 
Go! Boy, eto na nga, napit na si Doggy dito sa gitna ng mapa right now. And it seems like yun yung minahanap ng Brent Ipro na Austin. Renny J going so long. They're one with part of the map. Flickering out. The hoop did not connect. So they will transition onto the middle lane. Aaron, tatago dito sa bush right now. Will he go all in? May revitalize. Alright, revitalize. Popped in here by Ref Lee. Oh, getting a hook in here for the first time. And nakakuha sila ng pick up dito. Two members on the side of Happy Feet Embers. Pero baka mawi ang mga ng triple kill. Ito na, online na nga si Daniel, mga kaibigan. At tingin ko, kahit yung uh, si, kahit si Lulos, it's already online po in here with the bloody hand, but he will pay for his life. Oh, Round 2 ni Prince. Tapos Ref Lisha, napakagandang grok block dito. Mumaibit si Puzakin. And another turret takedown sa side ng Happy Fit Efforts. And this is a wipeout. Ramdam na ramdam na. Meron pang kanan dito. The main base might go down here and Happy Fit Emperors will take down Brand E Pro on a 2-1 series. Wow, that was such an intense...